It is Friday, August the 12th, and this is Love Notes, Daily Devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. Our summer psalm today is number 141, a prayer for help in time of trouble. It begins, I call upon you, O Lord, come quickly to me. Give ear to my voice when I call to you. There's an urgency in the request here. Trouble is near. And it's okay to cry out to God when trouble is near and ask to be heard. The psalmist gives an image of what the psalmist hopes this prayer is like. Let my prayer be counted as incense before you and the lifting up of my hands as an evening sacrifice. In other words, accept this as worship. Just like sacrifices are offered in the temple and the smoke rises up to God's attention, let my prayer be the same. Let it have the same standing before you as the worship of your people. So that my prayer is appropriate, the psalmist then says, Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. That should be a verse that's on the top of every Facebook page and every editorial page of a newspaper. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord, and keep watch over the door of my lips. We live in an age where people say evil things, stupid things, hurtful things, unloving things almost constantly, day after day. The humility of the psalmist to cry out and say, make sure my words are appropriate, is something that can instruct us. These are actually words that I pray before I go into the pulpit each Sunday. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Don't let me say anything evil, unloving, or stupid. Do not turn my heart to any evil to busy myself with wicked deeds. In other words, don't let me be tempted by the, the words around me, by the, the powers and principalities, by the other people and influences in my life that will turn me away, away from you, God. Don't let me be turned to evil things. Let me instead place myself firmly before you, the Holy One. And if necessary, the psalmist goes on and says, let the righteous strike me, let the faithful correct me. In other words, if I'm wrong, if I need to repent, then let the faithful tell me so. Correct me before I bring my prayer into your presence, Lord. Let me be open to hear the criticism the rebuke of those who love me. We're not very open to that in our society. In fact, we will often continue an argument long after we know we're wrong just to win the argument and to avoid being thought wrong. The problem at hand seems to be persecution, that there are enemies who are attacking the psalmist because of the psalmist's faith in God. The psalmist here does not ask for revenge, as we've heard in some other psalms. The psalmist instead asks for vindication. In verse 6, it says, When they, the persecutors, are given over to those who shall condemn them, then they shall learn that my words were pleasant. In other words, I will be vindicated. The words that I've spoken will be true. When we call people to account, when we give people loving correction, when we point out the problems of this world that are causing us such pain and grief and we get a lot of flack for that, well, there comes a time when God will reveal that our words were true. Think of the prophets of the Old Testament. At the time they spoke, they were ridiculed. But now we read them years later and know that they were right. The psalmist then asks that those who are wrong be broken by God. Like a rock that one breaks apart and shatters on the land, so shall the bones be strewn at the mouth, strewn at the mouth of Sheol. In other words, for those who are wrong, for those who do not conform to the reign of God, let them be destroyed. That's a harsh word for us, but it is the righting of wrong. On the one hand, we have a God who must indeed be merciful, but that God also must be just. In verse 8, the psalmist says, But my eyes are turned toward you, O God, my Lord. 
In you I seek refuge. Do not leave me defenseless. Keep me from the trap they have laid for me and from the snares of the evildoers. Let the wicked fall into their own nets while I escape. There's trouble around and the psalmist cries out deeply, passionately for God to help and to save, to hear the prayer. May we be able to do the same thing. Not to wish bad things upon our enemies, but that the scales of justice will be balanced. Let us pray. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O God, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified hearts we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen.